Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown with Nathan Johnny. Cheers Full. to you guys. Yeah, cheers indeed. Thanks for coming back, hanging out with us again. Full, <laughs> you said full, and then I interrupted you I was gonna by say, saying cheers. Full transparency, full disclosure, I am actually looking up who the guest on this next track that we're doing is. Now, the band is Void of Vision, who we absolutely fucking love. Yeah, these are our boys. Uh, this is their brand new single, Alter. Very, very excited about everything these guys have dropped in the past few months. So, I dare say you're in for a treat. Yeah, especially given the difference between Dominatrix to the last track and now to this one. Yeah. It, 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 I'm, I'm expecting this is going to be even more different to the last two. More different? I mean... <laughs> different are better, but different, good. It will be different. <laughs> it will be. For sure. It's going to be great, though. Uh, yeah, so I was looking up who Hannah Greenwood is because it's a name that neither of us are familiar with. Apparently, she's an Australian stage and television actress best known for starring as Saskia Littress in the Australian children's television series Noah and Saskia. I don't know if that's the same girl or if it's a different girl. So, welcome to The Breakdown. We don't do our homework. We're not very good. But nope. you guys keep coming back. We appreciate you. So, we're going to get into this now. Listen to some music. Yeah. Do you want to put his phone away? Yeah. You guys are going to like and subscribe because you're just that fucking nice to us. Right? You guys. I don't do what? Not fucking around. Taking a stab with the chorus finishes there. Um, that little bit of grit that she throws in there on the end of just one of the lines. God damn, that is so tasty. Reminiscent of a little bit of uh, Amy from Evanescent Vibes. Yeah, but she's got a little bit more attitude and, and I really, really There's like that. But in Evanescent's back catalogue, there is definitely areas where she hits that grit. She yeah. has that edge. Yeah, this is, yeah, she's fantastic though. Uh, and she can cry chains, man. That's impressive. That is, yes. <laughs> um, and the boys are just coming out firing. The juxtaposition as well. as well between her voice and Jack's. Yeah, it, it highlights. Even though you're, you're right, it has a bit of edge in hers. It still sounds so angelic compared to his like demon esque screams. He has a vicious roar about him, doesn't mm, he? He's such a sweet dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, Rip City! That is tough as shit. For those of you wondering what Johnny's doing, uh, don't. I finger blast him. Oh, I finger told you not to man. do it, and you did it, and he told you. And now I've just finger blasted everywhere. 
Well, sorry, Void. Yeah. Sorry, world. Drummer is going fucking ham. Oh. It's just on the word remember. Oh, I love it. Hectic. I like stylistically they've kept that theme with the feathers from yeah. the last film clip. They're sort of keeping the story flowing here. That was sick. That was absolutely incredible. Maybe Jack really wants to be a bird. I mean, he makes me fly. <laughs> I don't know if that makes him a bird or makes him... Uh... Feather on, I uh, enjoyed that joke. It was a great song. Nah, uh, too. nah. we suck. <laughs> we're terrible. So, oh man, there's a lot, lot to talk about with this song. Number one, full props to, uh, to Void, and to whoever is um, producing and directing their videos because the the theme that they've had has been really, really awesome. Like, I, I, I just love it. I love what they've gone for stylistically in their music videos of late. I think it looks so cool. Yeah. Um, there's always cool, um, like, juxtaposition of, like, light and dark. In the last one, in this one, even, like, on the last one, how there was so much white and they were all in dark and just, they're just very, very clever with how they're shooting these. And The costume and the makeup costumes as well. Are, yeah, insane. So good. As I said, th- those little, like, the chain tier things, I can't imagine that's a simple process to get that on there and it's so well shot and mm-hmm. same as sort of the makeup stuff that Jack had like I think he had like, like upside down crosses kind of coming from his eye yeah there. It, it, yeah it's very very striking and, and visually uh, intense which really matches so well with the music because man they've just hit another level haven't they why have I still got headphones on <laughs> I'm just ready for it to play again I'm just so excited <laughs> um, yeah I, I love how they have this sort of this, and I think you may have even mentioned this on the last one. Like, Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. I you, think I have mentioned that before. Yeah, the yeah. If you guys remember that, comment below. Um, I wasn't the one wearing my headphones for three minutes after the song. Oh, um, mate, I loved it so much. I was ready for it to play again. God, <laughs> it was intentional. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you might have mentioned it on the last one. Don't. I would never. Don't. Uh, the, it's almost like they've gone for... Like that real dark sort of tone, but like it's more focused on the beauty in the dark rather yes. than yeah. making it unnerving and visceral. Like it's it's, it's very grandiose beautiful. and magnificent. Yeah, and maleficent because I mean, they actually kind of remind me of maleficent. You just wanted to think of a big word, and you all you got was a no, Disney no, character. No, you know, but oh, no, there's black feathers. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah, yeah, it needs more horns, but. He says that in all situations, though. I do. This needs more horns. It does. I turn uh, up on the sexual or something metal. <laughs> I was never being sexual. No, look, I love how intense that song was as well. Like, it was heavier than the do last you think it was one. Camp. Yes. Yes, they were camping. It was very intense. Intense. See what yeah. I did there? It's, yeah. An oldie, but a goodie. Um, Just like Johnny. <laughs> 
Well played. Well played. Uh, and again, like, the more we get to know these boys and Jack especially, it is so interesting to me. And I mean, look, I, I should be well aware of this anyway with musicians, but he's such a, a chirpy, happy, funny dude. He's a happy just, lucky ray of sunshine. He really is. Someone should put that on a shirt. Um, and then you just see him in full costume here, just absolutely just destroying and it's, it's we did so wild. touch that when we spoke to him a while ago though that he's like trying to bring that feeling back in their music and seeing them live as well you, you do see that that visual they really are mm. making it a, an experience a visceral experience which is super super cool i'm so excited for chronicles 2 to drop very Ooh. shortly so uh, make sure to go check that out comment below let us know your thoughts on the brand new track alter what did you guys think also hannah great i really liked the yeah. Was that her? Did you look at the photos and compare? Uh, no, I didn't because I just wanted to... I'll do it later. And if we were wrong, yeah, we're wrong. But we live, we learn. If we're um, wrong, it's no surprise. <laughs> yeah, that is true. But hey, you keep coming back because there's beauty in the stupidity, maybe? There's beauty in the breakdown. Oh. That's right. weird, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. No. That was so simple. It was laying there for you. Yeah, right. It's like a, it's a double joke as well because we're the breakdown and then... Axty, our boys, had a song. Beauty. There's also uh, a song by August Burns Road that has that. That's a saying. Beauty in the Breakdown is a thing. Wait, wasn't that the name of a Bury a Dead album as mm-hmm. well? Beauty yeah. in the Breakdown? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, metal, bro. This is so, so metal. It's just six we're degrees pretty... of separation. Yeah. We're... Kevin Bacon. What? Bye. <laughs> you know, six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Uh, so you haven't heard that? There's no. a thing that says that like ev- there's everyone has six degrees of connection to Kevin Bacon. I don't know where Kevin Bacon came from in that, but it's like there's a, a guy on TikTok that does this. Like, we're just going to continue rolling. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. There's a guy on TikTok that goes, I can connect myself to any figure in history that you, you say. And then he shows in photos how six degrees of separation he has from that person. So someone the other day was like Rasputin. And he's like, cool, here you go. Here's a photo of me with this person. He's this person with this person. Here's a photo of this person hanging with this person. Here's this person with this one. He's this person with Rasputin. Holy shit. Yeah, it's it's super interesting. So there, there is a thing. He's like, everyone has six degrees of separation from someone. Yeah. And right. But they just threw Kevin Bacon in there because... I don't really know the Kevin Bacon thing. If you're still watching this and you know where that came from, uh, drop a comment. <laughs> also, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, cool, huh?